We're in the lab today here at Diverse Dimensions and today we're going to measure up this plastic injection molded part. What actually uh, it does is it's a base that fits on the, uh, on the bottom of the table and a leg will be mounted on a casting here and it allows this leg to fold in and out so you can store your tables. So we're going to be measuring a plane here today, well, measuring multiple features actually, but the plane is what I wanted to show you guys today. It's one of the most simplistic features of measurement inside of CAM2 Measure and I've got version X open today. So I'm gonna fixture this part up and I'm gonna do a little measurement on the plane here. So hang tight and I'll jump into CAM2. Okay, you can see here I've got CAM2 Measure X open. I've got this table base already in an initial alignment. I've been using some of the holes just, uh, just to get into the initial alignment here. But um, what I've gotta do is measure this plane right here. This is our datum A, as you can see in the drawing here. And what we've got to do is we've got to test that datum, that plane for its flatness. So be sure to watch the flatness video too. I've got another example of that out there. So right now we're just going to capture this as a plane. So I want to show you how to do that. The way we're going to grab that data is we're going to come up here to the measure pull down. And right here is plane. Okay, so let's click that up. I've got the quantum today and I'm calibrated with the three mil probe. So now that I am active with that, you'll see my probe start to come into the, into the CAD model there. And this is the plane that I'm going to be putting that datum A on. So what I like to do is CAM2 just needs three points to solve for the best fit or for the perfect plane. I like to say put a minimum of four on so we can get our form. In this case, I've got a pretty good sized plane here and they want me to test it for form. So I might shoot a few extra points on there as well. So with the green button, I'm just going into each corner here and grabbing each, uh, each poke. So there's my fourth point. I'll probably put a fifth point there and a sixth point there. And then I'm probably going to grab one more in the midsection of each of these sides here. And then I'm going to back away. I'm going to compensate with a red button. And again, I like to compensate away from my geometry. I never want to cross my geometry. So that's what I'm going to do here is hit the red button. And then notice inside of review or my results box here inside of CAM2. What comes up here in the results is plane 001. So Pharaoh is going to default to that term there. So let's give this a name to start out with. I'm going to call it the datum A plane. That seems to make sense for that. And since it is a datum, I can also designate it as a datum here with checking this box right there for datum A. But now the first thing I like to do is I like to change the name. I like to make the plane or the, the name of the label descriptive as to what the part is. Uh, it could have been a mounting plane or the datum A plane in this case, but I like to make a descriptive label. The next thing I do is I come up to this form right here. The form is the next thing I want to look at. I've got 14, almost 15 thou. I buy that. I can see that in this form, I do have a little bit of, of waviness to it. Maybe it's part of the way that the part was molded or how it was cooled. I can't tell, but I, I can surely see that there's some form issues there. So 15 thou, I believe that. So just make sure that when you look at the form, that you believe that number, that it makes sense to you. If this thing would have given me a 60 thou or something like that, I might have shot that again, just to make sure that that number is repeatable. But I can believe this 14 and a half thou. So that's okay there. So that's a very simple way of grabbing data in a planar format in this, uh, uh, on this piece. But again, I like to grab multiple points just so that I can get this form. And then again, this form is the flatness of that part. So be sure to go to the GDNT, uh, the GDNT video that shows how we do flatness. Okay.